right, continuing with the uh, Mr. Skin Presents Women in Prison triple feature, we're going to watch Red Heat, the middle one there, with Sylvia Crystal. And uh, is that Linda Blair also? By God it is. So let's check it out. Red Heat. As the opening credits roll, we have some uh, Soviet spy shit going on. I believe this is in East Germany. I believe that's a woman named Hedda. <laughs> Meanwhile, somewhere else in the area, Linda Blair is arriving from America to... She's Germany. supposed there to get married to her husband who's in the service. Congratulations. I hope he thinks so. Anyway, back to Hedda and her Soviet stuff. How can we be sure of your loyalties? To whom? I've given you what you need because I detest the thugs who control my country. Linda Blair, she plays Christine. She and her uh, fiancé enjoy some special time with each other. That's the uh, guy from Christine who played Buddy Ripperton. But they argue. I sure do. You just don't want to get married. So what's your job? You protecting this country all by yourself? Maybe here cares about you. Whatever happens is their business, not ours. Now Hedda gets caught, and then, talk about wrong place, wrong time, she goes out for a walk in the middle of the night from her hotel. She sees Hedda, and then they see her, and she's captured too. Obviously your fiancé, Mike, notices she's gone the next day. Turns out she is captured in a barrel inside here. Her and head of both. So she gets arrested with Hedda. I told you what happened. I was walking along and she was there with those two guys. I find you guilty on all counts. The sentence is three years imprisonment. <laughs> So she gets sent to prison. Fiance is looking for help. He doesn't even know where she is. And we're Americans. Give me something to go on at least. A direction. I can't just sit still. You know what I do. Sorry. Inside this prison is Sophia, played by Sylvia no. Crystal. She's a bully. Please. She's also got some lesbianism in her. Please. Apparently that box of chocolates had her husband's shaving cream on it, so she liked to smell it. And Sophia burned it. And a fight ensues. Sophia made you special. Sophia made you special. Sophia made you special. Nobody fucks this Sophia. And I believe Sophia just killed her. They want her to get close to Hedda to learn what she learned, what she knows. We want you to become friends. Why? Both of you work for the same side. Clement has information we want. Tell her the same story you tell us. Get the Clement bitch to trust you. You didn't think we knew. But Sophia knows everything. Just as I was sure that we'd get to know each other well. Turn on some music. Something sexy. And again. And then uh, she got assaulted. Which they didn't actually show in this movie. Although she did have a quick nude scene here, did Linda? Another inmate then kills herself. Sophia's behind it all. She starts a fight. But this gains her the respect of some of the other inmates. Going after the big bull. And that leads to a big riot. Christine 
Carlson guilty. The sentence is an additional three years of imprisonment. That's what you get for fighting. Fuck you. Meanwhile, Michael gets a letter. Your friend is in a prison in the East. Enclosed, you'll find the necessary information, plus a few thoughts I have on how to break her out. People to contact, routes to take, covers to use, etc. So yeah, Michael and his buddies decide to break her out of prison somehow in East Germany. The lake near Herzberg? Approved drugs only. Sure. Objective is to extract two women from the prison within 20 minutes. Now either Sophia or her minions messed with uh, Christine's machine and injured her. That leads to a trip to the infirmary. Nonetheless, they continue on and they're trying to break in. He ate her well, pet snake. This prison is mine and nobody, I said nobody, is going to take it away from me. So while Sophia is fighting Christine, her fiance and his friends are breaking in successfully. And they have help from Hedda. He ain't messing around, he wants his girl. What happened to Sophia? Well, she got caught up in all the hoopla too. And they shot her. And they make it across the border to freedom. Move ahead slowly. And thank you for visiting the People's Republic. And that's our film. All right, continuing with Mr. Skin Presents Women in Prison triple feature. We watched Red Heat. Watched Chain Heat with Linda Blair last week. Red Heat with Linda Blair this week. This one also stars Sylvia Crystal. What we have here is a relic of the 80s. We have um, Linda Blair is going to Germany or East Germany, I guess, uh, to meet her fiancé who's an American soldier, and he's over there, they're going to get married, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, they have an argument, and she runs out of the hotel room in the middle of the night and stumbles across this Russian spy or a Russian double agent. I don't know what she is. Her name is Hedda, but she was getting rounded up by the police and arrested. And they happened to see Linda Blair nearby, too, so they picked her up as well, basically kidnapped her, uh, and then threw her on trial and sentenced her to three years in prison. What the hell, right? Nobody even knows where she is as they... Um, or she dropped her passport, her fiancé has no clue, thinks she may have run off until he finds her passport. Nonetheless, she's in prison now, and then you got your standard women in prison flick. We have some shower scenes, we have some lesbianism, uh, we have a female warden who's having an affair with Sylvia Crystal, who uh, goes by the name Sophia in this movie, and she's one of the, she's like basically the leader of the prisoners. Uh, she's in charge, she's just head bull dyke, I guess you could say, and she's having a lesbian affair with the warden. Um... Meanwhile, the warden tells uh, Christine, Linda Blair, that, hey, this woman, Hedda, that you were thrown in prison with, uh, I want you to get to know her, find out what she knows. Um, we need that information. And she's like, I don't know anything about her. I was just happy to be walking by, and she got taken by these two men. I know nothing, but nonetheless, they want her to help her. Well, she's not interested in doing that. Anyway, there's a few fights that break out in here. Ultimately, her fiancé eventually finds out through some of his contacts uh, where she's being held, that she is in prison. He decides he's going to break her out. So he and a few of his buddies uh, cross over the border or whatever the hell they were. I'm not sure if they were east, west, whatever. But they found a way into the prison underground somehow through tunnels and shit. And uh, they break into the prison, snatch her, get her out. Sophia dies in the process. Linda Blair, or no, I'm sorry, Sully Crystal. And they get out and they drive across the border and that's the end of the movie. They got away. So, there you go. Um, uh, Mr. Skin presented this because there is some nice celebrity nudity in here, including Sylvia Crystal and Linda Blair. Um, uh, there's actually not a ton of nudity in this movie for a film like this. I think there was more in Chain Heat. The shower scene, although nice, was very brief. Um, but there's a few other scattered scenes here and there. Uh, Linda Blair does take off her top uh, a couple of times, I believe. And uh, so does Sylvia Crystal. But that's pretty much it. That was there's a little bit of violence here and there. Um, big complaint about this movie, though, it's very dark. There's a lot of scenes 
uh, where they're in the tunnels underground and just the prison itself is just a dank, desolate, dark area. Of course, maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know, but uh, it's just typical exploitation. But again, it could have been a little lightened up in this thing here. And uh, Sylvia Crystal was kind of odd in the role as um, this bully because she's, she's still got this French accent and uh, she just doesn't sound the part. But nonetheless, whatever it is, what it is. So anyway, that is Red Heat. It's available on this Women in Prison triple feature from Mr. Skin uh, with Chained Heat and Jungle Warriors. I reviewed Chained Heat, like I said. I'll review the Jungle Warriors hopefully next weekend. And there you go. So anyway, um, I'll leave a link down below. If you're looking to get this DVD, I would get it quick because uh, you can still find it relatively inexpensively. But I want to say relative, like the $25 range maybe. Uh, but there's some places that are jacking this price up. So I have a feeling this is going to be gone soon at a reasonable price. And you, you want to be paying $67, $80 dollars for it if you're looking for it. Well worth it though, right? Yeah, whatever. If you're a collector, it is. Check it out. Red Heat. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Not to be confused with the Red Heat with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Belushi, I think. James Belushi. But check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Bye.